Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. Doing a quick video because, well, my camera's downstairs being borrowed. So, whatever they're doing with the camera, as long as they remove it after, I don't care. As long as they don't get anything on it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just borrowing it downstairs for a moment. But, alright. So, the real topic at hand nostalgia. Now, a lot of people, of course, threw this down as a compilation. In this case, Super Dan 88. Yes, I know, I'm using my, my shitty impression of a one of the many accents from the UK, because just like America, the Britain has their own unique set of accents as well. Like from Leeds, I'll have you. Anyway, so a lot of people have the nostalgia, and for me it was really, really my first impressions of a game was the actual technical first game I ever touched or even played wasn't Sonic. Now my brother's probably looking at me going, what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, I watched people play Sonic when I was younger, but I never actually got to play it for at all that much. Probably only a couple times, that was about it, after a while. But the first game I actually technically ever played was, and I'll show you on camera because this is the original copy I had when I was a child. Because all these games in my room, about 80% of them as I originally had when I was younger. So, hopefully my microphone is not, yep, it's not muted. Cool. Alright, I hope you guys heard me before, but anyway. I guess everyone's having their bad luck with their sound today. Uh, was actually this game. Atomic Robo Kid for the Sega Genesis. Again, this game blew my nuts off for a simple reason. It was I wasn't necessarily good at it. No, no shape and form was I amazing at the game. I died quickly, but it was the first game I ever played that was for the Sega Genesis. The first technical system I ever played on, though, was the Sega Master System. And the first game I ever played on that was Safari Hunt and Hang On. Those were the first games I ever played. Sean can attest for that. We have, uh, hell, I even have, so, fuck it, I still have the same games that I'm, that I'm bringing. I'll just tell you guys what I got right here. These are the original games we owned. Some of them being Penguin Land, which is a fantastic fucking game. Though the cart looks like it's been through hell. Ew. But it's one of my mom's favorite games, along with Where in the World of Common San Diego. I mean, these games alone, for my family, was their personal favorites. How the hell? What the fuck happened to that cartridge? This cartridge looks like it's been through freaking hell. But alone, this game is just a nostalgia treat. Really. But let me show you the other games we have. We even had the uh, the glasses because I got the port of my little drawer over there. But you know, this game we got obviously a little bit later on down the road. We got Shanghai. Fun game. I like this one. But I'm trying to find that game. Oh, here it is. We had Parlor games as well. I gotta put that back in the case. Safari Hunt. There we go. This was the first technical game on any system I've actually played on. I confirmed this with my folks. They said, oh yeah, you were playing that game. And they pointed it right at it. Not even... I asked them, I, sh I gave them like a big stack of games. I pointed it right at them and says, which game did I play first when I was a kid? They said, this one. It was this one, Danny. Hang on. For the Sega Master System. That was the first console game I ever played. Was it one of my favorite games? Again, it was not amazing. It was not amazing to me. It was good. Because the control... I consider the, um... The freaking gun for the Sega Master System to be fucking the best gun zapper ever made. Next to this piece of shit, which is... Model 2 of this damn thing, but personally, I don't care for the zapper that much. 
It wasn't something that was necessarily my favorite thing in the world to use, though I did have good times with Duck Hunt and all that, it just was not personally one of my favorite games. Again, one of my favorite games for the system, and let me see where the hell is it. Can't find it, so the hell with it. Nah, that isn't true. Dang, all these games need to be put back in their cases. I'm getting mad here. But, if I can find it, I would show you. It was actually this one, because my dad showed this to me when I was a young kid. This is one of my favorite Sega Genesis games. One of. I mean, there's a few others, but I won't discuss those right now. But, it was this game right here. Really, really good hack and slash game. It's a lot of challenging parts of this one, but it is just a really good game. Very good game. Offers a lot, you know, a couple, obviously four races and all that. Really great game. I love this one for the Sega Genesis. I could play this one over and over and not get bored of it. But, hope you, I'm sorry, hope that you guys enjoyed the little nostalgia for me, but Oh, yeah, that's also one of the show you, too. <laughs> I got this when it was brand new back in the day. At the uh, Sir, was it Sears, before all these game stores came out. Because, yes, retail stores did sell games, like pros, back in the day. Consumer electronics, but... This one right here, my friend, is a very fun game. Super Dad in 88. This is a very fun game game. Man, yeah, I played a PS2 version. That one's pretty fun, too. But, alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my little nostalgia, little rant and blurt. Um, as for me, I'm going to get back to work doing what I was doing, because I am working on my, my gaming closet, and I need to get some of that cleaned out some more, then, you know, move some stuff in there, because I got some plans for it. So, with that said, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.